Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. We're on the 22nd episode, we have half a night remaining, my friends, and today we're gonna start out by trying Skeletron Prime. Now, of course, we do still have a bunch of holy arrows left. We've got Jester's arrows, we have our unpleasant Daedalus Stormbow, we have a coin gun, we have a bunch of awesome stuff. I also have an Excalibur here, which is awesome. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting on with this thing. We do have a limited amount of time, so... Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, Skeletron Prime, let's do this thing, bro. I just hope I can actually take him down. I'm literally just, like, diving straight into it, I guess. Here we go. Damage! All the damage. Can't even see where my blooming cursor is. Oh, there it is. I need to do that thing where you can... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm taking damage. I need to get up the water, ideally. That'll be the uh, fair idea, eh? Hey. Okay. I mean, I'm taking out his arms, which I guess is kind of cool. I wonder how it's doing. That's one of his arms, by the looks of it. Gone, which is awesome. <laughs> I just love how much damage all of this stuff does, dude. Uh, can I buff... Maybe I should be using the bacon. That'd be a good idea. Bye, right, bacon. Go, buddy. Okay, I'm taking a decent amount of damage here, which is not too good. Oh, I wasn't even in the blooming regen range. Whoops-a-doodle. Okay. I'm hoping I'll be able to take him down. He is at, what, about a quarter health now, which I guess is kind of awesome. I need to be careful of his bombs, because they will kill me in a very, very short amount of time. All right, how are we doing? Still on our holy hours, funny enough. Come on! How's he doing? Is he dead yet? Yep! There we go! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, once again, the day little storm bow is just the most stupidest, most ridiculous thing in the entire world, and we've just taken down all of the mech bosses in two episodes. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why the heck not? <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! Okay. So, souls of light, souls of night, souls of fright, souls of might, souls of sight, and we should be able to do a whole bunch of stuff now. Okay, so, hmm, what are your emblem, ranger emblem? I want to keep both of them, but uh, one thing you can do is if I just take this out really quick, I believe you can go ahead and make an accessory out of all of this. Do I have to go to the Tinkerer's Workshop? Is that where I need to make it? Yeah, there it is. But uh, yeah, you can make yourself Avenger Emblems and then they will no longer need the three different types of emblems anymore. They just require souls and then one em Oh, dang it, I wasn't meant to do that. Well, rip. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, might as well reforge it. Wait, oh, all of my things are there. Brisk, violent, quick. Violent. Oh, come on, man. That's just terrible, dude. That's not what I want. Okay, uh, let's go into the hard mode stuff chest. Let's get the hallow bars out. I should be able to make a pickaxe axe now. There you go, buddy. Savage. Size, damage, and knockback. Interesting. Ho, 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 ho. I feel like we've skipped so many tiers of weapons and stuff in the, <laughs> in the last couple of episodes. We're going so freaking quick right now, dude. It's just stupid. Right, tools chest. All right, buddy, you can go in there. Hmm. I would like to reforge the Excalibur. I'm using the Excalibur as opposed to the beam saw because I like I like the fact that I can fully auto swing it if you get what I mean. So yeah, uh, Avenger emblem. We're gonna keep this stuff on. Uh, but aside from that, everything else is looking pretty damn cool. Got a very significant amount of stuff. All right, let's just do the old quick stack. Okay, there is no quick stack. God dang it! Why can't I? Have I got a full stack of mushrooms somewhere? I'm so confused! Right, I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue uh, sorting out my inventory and I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty guys, so we're at the top of the underground jungle and basically what we're gonna be doing now is, no we're not really taking down Plantera in today's episode, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm hopefully gonna be looking for the good old life fruits because of course we're gonna start needing to, you know, start collecting them because that'll be a good idea, right? It would also be quite nice if we could get a bazaar, then we can start our road to getting the ank charm, that would be absolutely amazing. 
But of course, you know, I don't really expect to get a great deal today. Oh man, I also want to do a bit of building, but probably not in today's episode. I want to do uh, some more building probably in the next episode because I still need to go ahead and get a whole bunch of NPCs inside of our world. You know, the die trader, we've got a whole bunch of other people, uh, the, the steampunker, who sails the teleports, I believe, and of course the contaminator, and of course the jetpack. And I think even the steampunk wings now. Although those things cost like two platinum, right? So, yes, this is a, this is a lot of money, but uh, it's actually a pretty good one. Because I have it on my personal world. It's very, very good indeed. Right, okay. I'm not seeing anything so far, although I will keep my eyes peeled. I should probably use one of these things, shouldn't I? There we go. There we can see. We can see what's going down in Chinatown. <laughs> Why did I just say that? Why did I even just say that? So we're going to be doing a mixture of grab and chlorophyte just because, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't do that. And uh, we're also going to be trying to collect the good old fashioned uh, life crystals, not life crystals, the life fruits. That's what we're after. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully it all goes well. We should be able to get a whole bunch of claw fights. Should be able to get a, should be able to get a whole bunch of uh, life fruits as well. I cannot, for some reason, speak today, which is really, really annoying. Because you know, talking is kind of something you have to do for YouTube. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and carry on, uh, you know, digging up some ores, hopefully getting some life fruits along the way, and uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back at base once we're ready to go through what we've managed to get. Oh, come on, man. That's not what I need. I don't need deaths on my hands, man. I'm just trying to get some chlorophyte. That's not too much to ask, is it? Hmm? God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna carry on. Ooh, 15 souls of night. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be lucky today. Come on, man. Come on, Terraria. You gotta give me something. <laughs> you gotta give me something, man. It's gotta be something good. Or well, something good, preferably. That'd be great. Okay, give night. Hi! Hi, hi, hi. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see about killing this guy, shall we? Okay, 3,000. Oh, great, he's doing that stupid thing. Go! Get wrecked, son! Ooh. Come on, fetid backnacks. Fetid backnacks. Come on! Come on! I know you want to give me it. I know you do. Come on, Terraria. Come on! Get wrecked, son! Anytime you want to, like, actually... Ooh, where's he going? Are you going to give me something cool? Sure be nice. Come on, what are you... Oh, tendon hook again? Man! I've already got that! God damn it! God damn it, Terraria. Okay, it looks like our luck has very much changed since the last episode. Oh, this is not good. I don't like this. All right, reforge. Agile. I like Agile, actually, because it makes it quicker. I mean, it's already a pretty slow weapon. I don't know, man. It costs 10 gold to reforge again. Oh, my God. That's a lot, isn't it? Uh, right, do we have a sharpening station, actually? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, interesting. So we can't get the uh, the armor penetration thing. Right, okay. We have one more spell on potion. We will, of course, go ahead, back down to the jungle, see what we can get, and I'll bring you guys back. We've got 92 chlorophyte ore. But we're going to see how much we can get, because, you know, the more we get, the better. What? Ugh. All I wanted to do was see what was inside of that tree, and then boom, just dead, yeah. Oh man, this is turning out to be a really salty episode, isn't it? Ugh. In the entire time I had a spell on Capotion active, I managed to find a grand total of one life fruit. Just one. Just one. In ten minutes, we got one life fruit. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that is freaking terrible, dude. Like for real, that is that is bad. Oh, I can't stack the stars. 
Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, right, rich mahogany door. Uh, you can go in there. Oh, we've got two more Spelunker potions. I must have got them from vases or something. Uh, that's interesting. I guess we can use them later down the line. But we do have 219 chlorophyte ore. Let's go and see just how much bars and therefore stuff we can make with it. All right. 36. If that's a good amount, then cool. If not, then I'm not too fussed. I kind of want to see if I can make anything else in uh, in 1.3 with these chlorified bars. Let's have a quick look. Uh, drill containment unit. Yeah, I know I need them. Uh, chlorified bullets, chlorified arrows. Uh, chlorified arrows. Bounces back after hitting a wall. I don't think that's really going to work with the Daedalus Stormbow and the, uh, and the guy. The guy? You know the guy. The guy of guys. What's his name? Pantera. Yeah, her name. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay, so, uh, to be honest, I don't think there's really anything I want to make out of this. Not really, any. Not without the turtle shells, which unfortunately we don't have. Right, okay, in which case, we're going to go and store those things. Right, okay, so you can go in there, you can go in there. Okay, things are looking reasonable, and I'll tell you what, we're going to do a bit of extractinating, and while we're doing that, we can jump into the question of the video, and for today, that comes from a user by the name of VillagerCraftTV, and his question is, what is your favourite drop from the biome chest mimics? I mean, if you haven't picked up already, then I'd be surprised, but the fetid bag nax would probably have to be my favourite uh, all-time drop from the biome chest mimics, you of course get them from the crimson chest mimics, and those things are freaking amazing. They just have the most ridiculous blooming, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Melee speed. It does a stupid amount of damage per second. Like, you think this is reasonably quick? No. Just, just no. It's, it's not quick. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Not compared. Not compared to the thing. So, yeah, not compared to the Fedig Magnax. It's just ridiculous. It really is. There just isn't any other word for it, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Now, uh, I understand a bunch of you guys have been saying that I should make an optic staff, and of course, I would do that. But I don't have any black lens, so we're going to have to wait until, I don't know, maybe the blood moon comes around again. Wait, can I do this? Nope. Dang it, man. I really wish I could. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, in which case, I need to think of something to do for the rest of the episode. I'm not sure at the moment. I'm thinking maybe... Wait, hold on. Do we have an ice feather? We do indeed. Okay, we're going to go to a sky island. Uh, we're going to need a grav potion, aren't we? Because we don't really have a good way of getting up there at the moment. Uh, yep, there we go. Just one to do the job. Good old gravy potion. Right, and we just need to go to the nearest sky island and then just, boom, go and farm some wivens. That's all we need to do. We need 20 of them, right? Uh, I can't remember if I've already taken down any, unfortunately, so... I don't know. I don't know. But I, can, I guess I could pass the question of the video on to you guys. What is your favourite drop from the Biome Chest Mimics? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you guys would like to send in your suggestions, do so in the comments area below and you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. So, yeah. Let's go use our grav potion and get the hell up to the Sky Island. I still can't believe in 10 minutes we only found one life fruit. That is like, that is preposterously bad. That really is very, very bad. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, right. We have holy arrows. Uh, a few left. Not a very good amount, I'll be honest with you guys, but it's still decent. And the frost wings are also pretty decent. Pretty good ones to get in early hard mode, so... Yeah, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Let's go ahead, wait for some wivens to spawn, and I'll be back in just a moment. Oh, there he is! Little bugger! Wait, I wonder how the yo-yo does against this guy. Wow, that was pretty reasonably, actually. Look at it. It's taking millions of damage. It's like it's damaging all of his segments. Look. Blimey! <laughs> wow, okay. The, the Amarok does a very, very good job indeed of taking down wivens. Because apparently it goes ahead and damages multiple segments per time. So it just does a stupid amount of damage per second. Ah, that is good. That is good. I just noticed this is a hallowed. This is completely hallowed over, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of like that, man. I like that. We've got a hallowed island. We could potentially use this for farming. Though the only thing is... I'm not hearing the uh, hallowed music. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe Hello Dudes can't spawn up here because it's too high up. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Anyway, let's continue on, my friends. 
Oh ho ho! Look at you taking a bunch of damage. Do 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 do, and he's wrecked. Lol. That was way too easy. Okay. Can I? Oh, just about got them. Uh, okay. So up to twelve. If we're lucky, we should only need to do this once more. If not, then probably twice more. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. So let's continue on, my friends. I hate it. I wonder how the storm bow does against him. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Just so much damage. Uh, oh, okay, those souls are over there. Please be eight or more. Please be eight or more. Come on, come on, come on. Please be eight or more. Ten. All right, fantastic. We do now have enough to make wings. <sighs> All is good in the world. Right, okay. Let's just make sure there's nothing down here before we head back. Uh, all right, anything? Not really. All right, let's head back to base, shall we? So... If I remember correctly, this is literally all we should need. We just need to go over to the anvil and boom shakalak. We got some wings. Oh, so beautiful. Hmm. I mean, this is now completely irrelevant. So let's just go and take it off and put these on now, man. Oh, we got wings. I'm so happy, man. Our first wings in our let's play. All is good in the world. All is good in the world. I kind of wish a solar eclipse would happen right now, which is kind of why I'm trying to use this as much as I can. But as you can see, it's not really working. Mm. Okay, so... Wow, things are things are looking up now. Things are looking up. We now have wings on us. We've taken down Skeletron Prime. And we have 405 health. And I'm actually struggling to think of anything else to do. So, I think it might be time to end the episode. I don't really have a great deal of stuff to do. Uh, I think in the next episode we'll go back to the jungle. Actually, no, we're going to do a bunch of building, aren't we, for the NPCs. But yeah, guys, I apologize if it's been a bit of a sort of bitty episode or short episode as a result, but I don't know. We just did some generic stuff and uh, sometimes that's just what you need to do to progress. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like right my friends. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.